beautiful people, the Key Common family. I hope everybody's blessed, well, and healthy, and that nothing but the best is going on in all you guys' life, man. Check. What the hat say? Somebody read the hat out loud. Start right here. What it say? What it say? Yeah. <laughs> man, this is my favorite hat, my new reaction hat. This was sent in in my family. I I, I open. I did an opening video yesterday of opening up family uh, family gifts and shout out to Kelly, my beautiful family in Arkansas. Uh, Kelly sent me this amazing hat, man, and I'm so happy. My favorite hat now. Y'all see, I'm thankful, blessed, and grateful. I ain't even took off the, the, the sticker yet. <laughs> but, hey, man, I hope everybody is doing well and that nothing but the best is going on in all you guys' life, man. Hey, wishing the best in your marriage, relationships, friendships, Hey, your jobs, your careers, your occupations, man. Yes, indeed, that you get pay raises, upgrades. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to our, our vets on the channel. Salute to anyone that's ever served in the armed forces. Salute to our first responders, man. Hey, to the people that do all kind of jobs around the world, man. People that risk their life every single day. People that's putting in 40, even 30, 40, 50, 60, 80, 90 hours a week. Yes, indeed, man. But so many of y'all requested this video um, to me on Instagram. Um, I had a couple people I actually emailed it to me. I mean, everybody has sent me this. And again, we have uh, Joe Rogan. And I don't know how his copyright system and team works over there on his channel. But I think I am going to uh, kind of turn the, uh, the video down on the uh, viewing. Um, but I do want to hear... Uh, what Anthony, uh, what Oliver Anthony has to say on his unsuspect, unexpected success and backlash from Richmond, North of Richmond. You know what I'm saying? And um, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy to see you know him on the podcast and him, you know, getting to voice his opinion. And you know, it's been a crazy uh, two weeks. You know, a crazy two weeks. You know what I'm saying? Especially because I got the, I got the a hat with his lyrics on it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, look at that hat. Y'all like comment down below if y'all like that hat, man. Shout out to Kelly. Um, for this hat, once again, I'm still just so thankful, grateful, because like I said, y'all, I'm not used to getting any gifts or anything from my family members on the channel or just anybody giving me gifts, period. You feel me? So I'm so thankful and grateful, man. Like I was uh, spooked four months ago, four to five months ago when I got my first donation sent to me on the channel or, f or somebody sent me money to do a reaction. I'm like, what? You know what I'm saying? So. Uh, I'm just thankful and grateful, y'all. I love y'all, man. But we're going to turn down uh, this bad boy. And uh, we're going to, let me see. I don't, I really don't know how the, I don't, I just want y'all to, I, hopefully the video doesn't get blocked or I have any issues with Joe Rogan's uh, copyright team or anything like that. But uh, we're going to turn it down a little bit, maybe right there. I'm not sure. But I just want y'all to still at least see see him. But I, I just don't want I don't want to deal with none of the issues, man. You know. But I do want to hear him out. You feel me? So you're gonna have to deal with that soon because I out. guarantee you, there's gonna be some people that are making some CGI. Oh, there are. <laughs> there are already they are. There? Oh yeah, I'm sure. What is that? I'm sure I've, there are. Yeah, I haven't kept up with a lot just because um you know I'm doing so. I, I'll, anything social media related right now or anything any internet presence i have right now is coming from me off the phone just like before everything blew up so i haven't invested the time to like look at everything circulating but i've people like friends and family have sent me stuff and some of it's pretty funny but uh you know they've got all these different ai remixes of the song with different voices and um overlay different faces and all and it's it's funny to see where it's gonna go you know have y'all seen the ai especially on tiktok um, they have been like remaking, you know, legendary songs with like character with like cartoon characters, like an Alicia Keys song sung by SpongeBob. Or hey, it's so crazy how where technology is at right now, y'all, and it's actually pretty scary, man. Like I heard, I went on TikTok and heard Patrick singing what's that legendary song everybody knows, man? But he was singing that bad boy and it actually sounded pretty good. <laughs> it was crazy, man. It is crazy where technology is going with the AI and how the AI can write you a whole email and book and also respond to your loved one and sound just like you. The AI is crazy, y'all. It's funny. Yeah, you're going to have to deal with that. My daughter yeah. sent me some advertisement. She goes, did you do this advertisement? I'm like, nope. 
Nope, yeah. nope, that's not really my voice. Yeah, I mean, like it is my the voice. Day after, they... <clears throat> the day after things blew up, one of the towing companies had had an ad on Facebook that had, it, w- it wasn't really me, but it was a red beard and like the side profile of sunglasses looking out the window. I'm like, okay. How dare you? I guess you? I've made it anyway. <laughs> that's when I realized like people are already ripping things off. And what's crazy is like every shirt that I've worn anywhere in public, there's, um, so there's a, there's a organization that I've, um, I'm not like officially r- related to or in any way have done anything with but it's a friend of a friend in the neighborhood it's called nets with vets and they take out veterans with ptsd and let them go deep sea fishing and so he asked me last minute just to wear his shirt at one of the concerts and do you know now there's like 1500 listings online for counterfeit nets with vets shirts <laughs> and so crazy. the organization reached out like hey are you like making shirts ripping us off and I was like, it's like it's not me so it's like it's just it's a weird uh, it's a weird thing but yeah, I've, ex- I've already experienced a lot of that stuff not so much on the ai side but just i don't know the internet's just such a, a rowdy place you know oh it's so rowdy <laughs> we're very rowdy and everybody trying to get their dollar everybody trying to eat off something you feel me everybody trying to eat off something golly man that's pretty crazy <laughs> the world's a rowdy place <laughs> it know? is and maybe people bring maybe pe- people bring their um their best and their worst on the internet like uh I've I've always tried to stay off social media as much as possible, but um, I've learned very quickly that like Twitter and Facebook and stuff like you, <laughs> you you see comments and feedback from people both overwhelmingly positive that maybe you wouldn't get in a personal conversation, but also like overwhelmingly negative yeah. too. You know, yeah. People You're, just use that as a vent. That just they just take whatever seething hatred they have inside of them. They're like, oh, I'm getting that guy with it. You know. If you had a song just about love that resonated like that. It would be almost impossible to hate you. But you have a song where you're talking about how people are fed up with shit. And it obviously resonated. I mean, yeah. I've seen songs go viral. But that's pretty banana, son. <laughs> your, shit, your shit went to the moon <laughs> right yeah. away. And, uh, yeah. God, I'm not sure who sent it to me. I'll have to find out who sent it to me. Because it's one of those things where, like, once one person sent it to me, then it was like, dozens of people were sending yeah it, to me. it, it um it's uh. funny because originally that song wasn't in my it wasn't really even in my top five like it's not normally the type of song i've written songs with wow. similar messages but as far as that sort of like i guess anthem format is what people are calling it. it's like an anthem like that's not something i would normally write but uh but it's an unlikely anthem yeah you know, insane times <laughs> It would be an unlikely anthem. <laughs> yeah, I had no idea that that song would react the way it did. At least in my case, I think the one thing that's helped me too is that so my singing isn't the best, but I've never had any like vocal lessons or anything. So the way I sing is just the way I sing. And so like I think even the same way with her and other people, it's like it's maybe rough around the edges. It could be a little pitchy, or it's you know you're not using the right part of your face when you project and whatever and so like on paper things aren't quite right but to the i guess to another human it's like it sounds like it sounds right because it's it's it is it is what it is you know it's authentic yeah yeah i don't think there's any right way to do anything i mean there's it's like you see it in yeah. everything there's a person who <clears throat> violates the rules and they're the best at it <laughs> like, and, then, yeah. and then the rules <laughs> almost morph into whatever that is like um it's yeah. funny like with music yeah music has country in particular but music in general has gotten way too wrapped up in like this algorithm of how many beats per minute it needs to have and how many verses and how they need to be layered and it's like they've almost created this sort of like industry standard uh like osha rule book of how music needs to be performed and so like you can only do that so many thousands of times before wow. people are like okay what else is yeah. there you know yeah. well people like that too that's the thing there's a lot of damn people there's yeah. a lot of people. The problem, I think, with a lot of people is they want you to like what they like. And if you don't like what they like, what you like sucks. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, it's, it's funny like that, man. It's, we, we're so tribal. We, we, are, we are tribal with our cell phones. You know, we're an Android or PC. You know, oh, Android all about people brands, have to stick yeah. together. It's like we're so weird. Mm-hmm. We're so weird. But we're like that with our musical taste. We're, we're like that with our cultural sensitivities well, or, a lot of or, things or cult- cultural sensibilities rather yeah. like w- the way we feel about life and how life should be we want everybody to kind of think along the ways that we think mm-hmm. it's, it's very strange and when a person like yourself gets labeled a right-wing left-wing fanatic like right out of the gate <laughs> both in <laughs> both in like a week and a half then yeah at least i know i'm doing something right like to me 
Yeah, um, they're they're looking for your Biden campaign contributions <laughs> now. They're going through your fucking taxes. <laughs> it's the whole thing is so bonkers, man. Like, can't they just accept that you made a great song and people enjoy it? Yeah. Why, why does it have? You know, why do people have to attack? Well, it? I think it's just for whatever reason. I've been there's, I'm the subject matter the last couple of weeks, and I and you know, in everyone's defense, I probably haven't. It, I've waited for th- for this opportunity, I guess, to really have a real conversation with somebody about whatever it is I am. So people are just trying to find who's this Oliver Anthony guy and what is he and where does he work and who did he vote for and what's his family like and yada because they want to sort of build this um, image of whatever it is that the person behind the song represents for better or for worse. Right. The people who agree with it want to, you know, I, I don't know. It's <clears throat> it's really funny to watch on my end because obviously I know what's true and what's not and so like just even what I've skimmed through of people sending me like uh, <laughs> like this, like singing at the Super Bowl like how many people yeah. have formed an opinion about whether or not I should be paid to sing at the Super Bowl like I'm not singing at the Super Bowl that's just <laughs> something somebody made up but you know there's there's been hundreds of hours of people's time wasted probably hey, we talk- were just talking about that uh, day before yesterday in our little group man oh my goodness man but I'm so glad I get to come on here and I'm so, and I, I'm pretty sure uh, Rogan took took care of him and everything, and got you know just to, to get him on here, you know what I'm saying. But I'm so happy I get to 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 hear and see this with y'all, man, because this guy is 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 real down to earth, humble, and actually cares for one another, cares for people, people in their families and their kids, you know what I'm saying. And it's good to just to hear this, man, because I I'm telling y'all. Well, after I watched that pleasure to meet you uh, video, this guy man was 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 on point. I'm not gonna lie to you, he was on point, man. You feel me? But um, <sighs> I hope I don't have any issues, man. But yes, indeed, man. Them people are going crazy right now, man, and everybody trying to create this scenario this right here this right here and it's a lot of just stuff just being spread man I, and it kind of way it makes me feel bad for the poor fella man you know what i'm saying because he has nothing to do with it you know talking about all these little like things that don't even exist it's just somebody made him up and put him on the internet and so i'm just letting him ride i think they're i think it's i think it's great I, I just think it's great like that at least the last couple of weeks I've been able to entertain everyone and get everyone's mind off like all the all, all the other horrible stuff that's going on in the world right now like uh, yeah. at least everybody can have a good laugh you know so. yeah and we but, all need a good laugh man life is too short family y'all know this man life is too short we already work too damn hard we're already all tired we all need a good laugh man we all need a good laugh man I'm telling y'all one of the best things you can do in life is laugh for real well i mean <laughs> it's it's a subject of discussion so like everybody is getting involved and and then somehow or another it became cultural and then there was uh dwight from the office oh yeah he <laughs> chimed in that if he was gonna write a cultural <laughs> anthem what did he say something like he wouldn't write about o- <laughs> overweight people on welfare <laughs> uh, he would write about uh, billionaires and their taxes yeah there is nothing funnier than millionaires talking shit about billionaires (laughs) there's nothing funny funnier about millionaires pretending these billionaires are out of touch oh yeah (laughs) and then you know take take dwight from the office down to west virginia you know take him take him through those coal mining countries take him through those places in appalachia where people have extreme poverty yeah and, and pills have ravished those areas take him through there and it's everywhere. Yeah, the sad thing is it's it's everywhere now. It's not. Yeah. You know, it's funny. People right off the get-go, I guess because it was Radio WV that posted the original video, but like I've never once advertised myself as being necessarily from the mountains. My grandfather grew up in western part of Virginia in the mountains, but I've, I'm from Farmville, which is technically Piedmont. But even in throughout rural Virginia, that poverty is a big issue and drugs are a big issue. And I mean, it's not just even in the rural areas. In you go into downtown Richmond or any downtown anywhere for that matter. It's like, it's almost like, um, yeah, these problems exist everywhere now that are, and I think, I mean, obviously they are because they that's why everywhere. the song resonated the way it did. The problem for me everywhere. was, um, well, I knew that I needed to do this. Like I knew I needed to, I, I procrastinated with music a long time. I mean, I'm 31. I've been playing guitar and singing on and off since I was a kid. Like my, my grandma was in a band years ago and so like little i remember as a little kid what got me interested in all of it was um 
going, you know, Dukes of Hazard when I was a kid. I was like five, and I used to sit with my grandma, and we'd sit and watch Dukes of Hazard and watch Waylon Jennings pick that guitar. Of course, I had no idea who Waylon Jennings was, but that just like I just fell in love with that, and uh, wow. so grew up listening to like that '70s country, and she loved all the old stuff like the '50s and '60s, and um, even in the '70s, even you know Janice and all that. And so like she really introduced me a lot into music when I was a little kid, and so like I just kind of held wow. on to it, but never never pursued it the way I should and then I'd play at a bonfire party or I'd play at whatever it's a friend's house and everybody's like man you got to do something with this you're you know you don't want to waste this talent you've got and whatever and that would almost make me feel even shittier because I'm like oh man I suck like I'm such a piece of crap for not doing something with this and so yeah like when I was outside of work it's like I would just I would just I drink I'd get just absolutely stoned and I would just sit around and try to think about anything but what it was that I really needed to be doing which was like wow and so and it, it was kind of like funny but that's ended up what kind of sparked me into like writing all these songs and doing all this stuff because it's like I I don't know just like with you probably with some what you do jujitsu or whatever it's like for me songwriting is it gets my head like you said getting your head clear you know because mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. all you can f and I songwriting is interesting for different people but I've now that I've been in it I guess I know that I've been in the industry for two weeks and I've talked to like <laughs> now that you've been in the industry you conquered it <laughs> now that I'm an industry expert it's like some of the other musicians I've talked to like the people I've looked up to over the years they experience this too but certain people when you songwrite it's a very um it's a it's dramatic like um do you write all your own songs yeah but it's it's have you been accused of not writing your own songs very early on, yeah, because since my state, I guess it's not even my stage name, it's Oliver Anthony Music, and so it's supposed to represent music from, you know, Oliver Anthony Music is my, my grandfather, and so he grew up in the 30s in the mountains and used to tell all these wild stories about how life was back then, but the music's just sort of a characterization of, like, that period in time and those people, you know, and that's... So yeah, when when so your real name is not all Cri yeah Christopher An Christopher Anthony <laughs> Lester is my real legal name and so that's what's on like man. like if you look up the songwriting why did you decide to sing as Oliver Anthony just in <laughs> um, well like I said I have it I just had the the YouTube channel listed as Oliver Anthony but no I'm I'm laughing but th these are really good questions that 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 uh, what's the name is that Joe's asking him so yeah I mean you must you must ask these questions man because it's a, it's a meaning behind everything you know. Let me go back. Let me stop laughing. Ain't nothing funny, Rick. Stop laughing, hey all. All that laughing for that period <laughs> in time and those people, you know. And that's so. Yeah, when when. So your real name is not all. Chris, yeah, Christopher Christopher Anthony Lunsford is my real legal name, and so that's what's on like. Like if you look up the songwriting, why did you decide to sing as Oliver Anthony? Just in. Uh, well, it, like I said, I have it. I just had the the YouTube channel listed as Oliver Anthony Music, um, just because like that's sort of. That's sort of the the demeanor or the, like I said, the character I was rep like that older Virginia style music. Mm -hmm. Like mm. if you yeah. if you look if you go on YouTube and you look up that type of music from back then, like those old recordings of people, like that's that's what I I just love that type of stuff. You Do you know? think you're gonna keep that name? Yeah, I mean, I mean, a lot of people still call me Chris, and I've posted on social media, call me whatever. I mean, I've been called a lot worse than either of those things, but <laughs> yeah, it'll it'll stay Oliver Anthony music indefinitely. Yeah. It's a it's a it's a special name and it's a special name to me not only because it was my grandfather's name but it's it's sort of like to me it reminds me of how much how different things were back then but uh, he was born Oliver Anthony but everybody called him Anthony growing up and so like he always thought his name was Anthony Oliver and uh, last name Engel and so like it wasn't until he was in his sixties and going to re retire. He realized that his name didn't match his birth certificate, so he had to actually change his legal name when he was in his sixties. But it's because he back thought his then, name was Anthony Oliver. Yeah, and wow. so his whole life. But his legal name was, and so it's yeah, and his <laughs> his parents named him. So it's just like, but all, but wow. all the paperwork back then was so scattered up because a lot of people were illiterate, and of course documents weren't tracked as well as they are now you know oh, and so it's like yeah there's people in the family that have a different spelling and it's the same last name but the a few letters are different and stuff but it's just kind of cool like uh, but he just he just thought that was crazy he had to change his name when he was 65 so he could draw his retirement and all because his that's social security crazy. and everything was under a totally different name but that's crazy. so it's, wow. a spe it's just special to me wow um he was he's like the only other one in the family like me most of our family's like average height six feet and under but he and i were both you know six six redheaded left-handed like i just i don't know in a lot of ways i just uh I, th I thought it was special to kind of respect him he passed away in 2019 and that's kind of when i i guess that's when i first Rest kind of peace. adapted the name for the music i didn't really get serious with anything until 
probably two weeks ago. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> until a couple weeks ago. Probably until I think I uploaded the first original. Uh, like like when I was when I decided I was in it to win it, and I really wanted to make this thing happen. Um, it was probably about it. Yeah, probably May of last year when I uploaded. Ain't got a dollar, or it might have been Rich Man's Goal was the first one I uploaded on YouTube. But that's when I decided, like, all right, I'm I'm doing this thing. But yeah, so this, you, you were just smoking too much weed, drinking too much, and just procrastinating. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And so that and you know like uh, he always why he always do that. <laughs> You just smoking too much weed, smoking too much, and then drinking and drinking it back. And hey, man, but he always keep it real though. So that man crazy, man. Anxiety is a, is definitely something that's underestimated. You know, yeah. I used to laugh about, or not laugh about, but I used to just not really understand when people talked about mental health and anxiety because everyone gets stressed out over stuff, and so you think of anxiety as being just like this normal phenomenon everyone deals with. But and it's very that what he's saying right that is very it is a very important topic, especially on my channel, man. You feel me? I take that very serious, man. When we talk about people's mental health people that are suffering from depression anxiety having suicidal thoughts hey that is very important hey man it's i we have lifted up so many people on the channel so many people we have saved lives on my channel you know what i'm saying i take that very very serious man it is real that is real life man what people are suffering from man real life man yes indeed let me scoot it back i know i'm talking man i i, I get emotional when i well, you know, when when you when we start talking about topics like that, man, I get emotional, man, because it's real life, man. Let me go back a little bit. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and so that and you know, like anxiety is a, is definitely something that's underestimated. You know, I used to laugh about, or not laugh about, but I used to just not really understand when people talked about mental health and anxiety because everyone gets stressed out over stuff, and so you think of anxiety as being just like this normal phenomenon everyone deals with, but. Your your mind can really put you in a dark place to where that thing it just like it just holds on to you like a yeah. you know and it, it yeah. just um, makes it very difficult for you to do anything and so yeah I spent Facts. at least two years Facts. of my life almost constantly just having what felt like just a knot right here just just wrenching at me well that's you know? especially true for people that are pursuing a non traditional life you know with that doesn't have any guarantees it's it's a wild life to try to be an entertainer like to ju just to choose to try to make it in this wild world of people that are singing and making songs and yeah. you want people to pay attention to you like do you know how many fucking people are singing yeah. how many people can sing how many A people lot. are recording things and now with youtube and, and the like how many people are putting stuff up on the internet mm -hmm. for other people to enjoy it's a lot well, the idea that you're going to yeah. stand out so that you're filled with anxiety just because of that because you're this future's uncertain yeah i think for me a lot of it a lot of the anxiety came from me just feeling like i was running out of time oh yeah we definitely gotta can't wait to check out uh watch it says watch the entire episode for free on spotify you know i know y'all know joe, uh joe got they got a uh, sponsor that spotify man you know spotify got to come out on top man but um definitely finna go check out that full um uh, episode on spotify and um it's very that's a, it's very serious man this is i'm so glad he bought up on uh bought him on the show to talk about you know his life and the success and the song and you know what i'm saying what's what's going on in today's world man it's very very important but um y'all let me know what y'all think about down below in the comments we were fun to go check out the f full thing on spotify and um, I love y'all. I'm wishing nothing but the best in all you guys' life. I love y'all so much, man. For real, for real, for real. You never know what somebody around the world is going through. So let's continue to spread the love, the positivity, and the good energy around the world, family. And, hey, I love y'all. And I will catch y'all. Hey, 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 hey. Do you like my hat? You like, hey, don't be hating now. Don't be hating now. Shout out to Kelly, man. That more, clear, that more crispy. You know what I'm saying? Y'all let me know if y'all like the hat down below, man. I love y'all, family.